So not too long ago, I figured if I wanted to get the crispiest shot possible, I had to shoot at the lowest ISO possible. I found out that technique really only works for photography, definitely not for video. What's going on y'all, Dane Lou here, and if you stumbled across this video to figure out how to get the best shot or how to get the cleanest image possible with the right ISO settings, you're in a place to be. So what exactly is ISO, or how I like to say ISO? Simply said, ISO controls how sensitive your camera's sensor is to light. For example, ISO 100 to 200 is low sensitivity, and this is best for daylight or control lighting setups. On the other end, ISO 1600, 3200 and up is high sensitivity, and they're great for low light, but it's a trade-off with noise and static, especially when you're using smaller sensors. So let's talk about real-world use. For photography, you can start off at the lowest ISO and then bump up as you need to introduce more light to your shot. So for stills, it's always good practice to stay as close to 100 as possible. And if you have to, adjust the aperture or the shutter speed first before touching the ISO. And I found in my experience, this rule does not apply to video. When shooting video, you definitely want to make sure you look up your base ISO for your camera. Shooting at your base native ISO gives you the cleanest image and also the most dynamic range. The lowest ISO may seem like the best setting for your camera, but it's actually not. Some cameras like the one I'm shooting on now, the Sony FX3, has a dual base ISO. To ensure the best image on this camera, ISO 800 and ISO 12800 is going to give me the best results. So I know you may be asking, okay, how do I find my base ISO for video? And it's super easy. You can chat GPT it or you can go on Google, type in your camera, model, and exactly what is my base ISO. It should pop up for you, no problem. Once you understand ISO, you're one step closer to mastering the exposure triangle and most importantly, taking control of your shots. If you're ready to master shutter speed or aperture, feel free to click the box on the screen. But until the next one, see y'all later.